today. But the word of the Lord is out, man. I say shalom, giving all praise, Yahweh by Shimi Al Shah. Let's give a double honor to Els and GMS, honor to Akim, peace and blessings to brothers and sisters that's out there globally, the elect that's gathering. And as you see, another week in Babylon. Another week, man. Lord willing, this might be the last Christmas, man. You know, hopefully if we around still next Christmas will be chaos in the streets. Death everywhere, man. Because the sooner that happens, the sooner the kingdom of heaven comes. You also have a super moon tomorrow, which you know the scripture talks about signs in the sun, signs in the moon. You also have a lunar eclipse coming in January as well. So we in the end time, man. Who y'all here for? The Israelites, your Negroes, Hispanics, and your Native American Indians. Let the white man of Esau, who's Esau according to the scriptures, know that he about to be destroyed, man, right along with America in the third world's war. As it is written in the Bible, man. Okay. That's the word of the Lord. Not the Quran. You can use that for toilet paper. Or whatever else you want to use it for, man. That's trash, man. You read the first precept. Clock here, one second. It's cold out here today. Right. Since I brought that out. Read the scripture. Isaiah 34, verse 16. Isaiah 34, verse 16. It says, Isaiah 34, 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. What's the book of the Most High? The Bible, man. Okay? This is how you find out about Yahweh Shai. He can be called Jesus Christ, a black man, man. You got to come out of this book, the scriptures, man. And the Bible says read. It also says with all thy reading, get understanding. And the way you can get understanding, you got to come to the teachers that's set up. Started with the apostles on down, man. Okay? You can't just read this book and get the understanding. Nah, man. There's other men. The Lord had other men, starting with Abba Bibbins on down, that laid the foundation in this day and time. Okay? Read again. Isaiah 34, 16. It says, Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. What's not going to fail? The prophecies, man. And the main prophecy is America's destruction. Babylon's destruction. Which we go through a rundown every week. When the race riots is coming, the economic collapse. Just had an earthquake that shook the northeast, which I didn't feel it, but other people in Baltimore, Delaware, some parts of New York said so they felt it. So that's the scriptures, man. Yahweh Shai said that what? Earthquakes in diverse places. You see why everybody's still sleeping, man. So that's a beautiful thing anyway. Because it's only meant for a small few. And we're gonna keep pushing that. This is not about all Israel, man. All you niggas getting it. Okay, this is about the elect receiving it. Okay, to hell with two thirds. You ain't right. You never was right, man. All right? It says, um, it says, seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail. The prophecies. So every prophecy is going to hit its mark. And the main mark, like I said, is Babylon's destruction. North Korea just did a missile test the other day, man. So he's on fire, man. Okay? Hell, I think even a, a new law he passed is can be no more celebrations and um, uh, singing in public. That's dead. Okay? If you do, you get locked up. So he's gearing his people mind for war, man. That's the mindset our people should have been in a long time ago anyway. Enough with this shucking and jiving, man, and singing and dancing. We'll sing and dance in Zion, man. 
right now we in a time of war man so the same spread he put his people in not saying that you can't sing or dance but it's a time for everything especially right now we in a time of working you want to be made perfect for when the, the bridegroom come Yahweh shot I just said, blessed is he that watch it, man, daily at the gates. Okay, and the main watching is on the highways and hedges. You know, we're the watchmen, and we report it, man. So not one of these shall fail, man. So you Negroes, Hispanics, and you Native Americans, I got ears on your head. Now's the time to get right, man. Okay, to hell with that Christmas, man. You better get right with your how about Shimmy Al Shah, man. And stop following the ways of this world, man. Because look where it got you at the bottom. Okay? Go to all the ghettos in America, you Negroes and Hispanics, you Native Americans are there for a reason, man. Can you keep following the ways of the oppressor, man? So Most High is calling you out of that. Time for you to be a king and a priest of the Most High, man. It says, um, none shall want her mate, for my mouth of that commanded, and the spirit of that gathered. So you can't mate this with no other book period this book is unique this book is the only book that prophesies man. no other book prophesies none and that's why this book is still around today that's why it is also written Isaiah 40 and 8 make sure oh, hopefully we on oh, okay Isaiah 40 and 8 Isaiah 40 and 8, the grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our power shall stand forever. Let me read that again. The grass withered, so you have different seasons, different times, different empires that came and left. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our power shall stand forever. So the word of the Heavenly Father stands forever, man. And like the scripture says, not they one do. of these shall fail. You see what I'm saying? Now, one of these shall fail, meaning what? The prophecies, man. I'm a black woman, man. Get your ass out of here. Everybody paying attention to your wicked ass, man. Ball headed ass. Man. These black women are just out of order, man. Totally out of damn order, man. See, a lot of y'all gonna be humble real soon in these last days, man. A lot of you, man. Because pride is extremely high out here, man. Extremely high, man. Scripture talks about the pride of life, man. Okay? I keep telling y'all, man, the liberties that y'all enjoy, y'all about to start losing that, man. Okay? Especially when they crack the economy, man. And bring forth that digital currency, which is already here. So it says what? The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our Lord, our power, shall stand forever. So the word of the Heavenly Father always stands. That's why he also says, Isaiah 55. Heavy in the book of Isaiah, man. This is a spirit, man. Because Isaiah was what? A prophet, man. And a lot of them prophecies is happening now. Isaiah 55 and 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void. Let me read that again. Isaiah 55 verse 11. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, man. Meaning empty. So if the Heavenly Father says something, it's going to happen, man. He tell you that he's going to destroy America, that's going to happen, man. He tell you that these other nations, they're going to slavery in the world to come, that's going to happen. He tell you that salvation is only for the 12 tribes, then that's going to happen. He tell you he's going to bring his son back to Howard Shai to subjugate everything, it's going to happen, man. He told you that there's going to be a mark of the beast, which that's going to be a main test, okay? To see if you're down with this truth or not. That's going to happen, okay? You got a lot of dudes out there saying they're not going to take it, but a lot of you are not even doing the work, man. A lot of you sitting on your talent, man. 
So if you can't be trusted in small matters, how are you going to be trusted in great matters, man? When your life is on the line. You can't even come out here in the cold and do the work. There's no way in hell you're going to survive in the um, hour of temptation. You're going to be the first ones online to get the chick. All right? Right along with these wicked-ass women, man. Because they're going to take it. And they're going to cause their children to take it. And they both going to be condemned. So, you know, there's a lot of talking with dudes. Oh, I'm not going to take it. You guys can't. You sitting on your talent, a lot of y'all, man. If it's a lot to be a teacher, you got to come out here and preach. Scripture says, let your light shine before men. That they may see the works of your father. So if you can't come out here and do this, which is a small thing, there's no way in hell you're going to be able to endure what's coming. Okay? There's no way. There's no way. All right? That's why the Lord said, the Lord said this burden is light, man. This is a light thing compared to the glory you're going to receive. A lot of dudes forsaking their first love, man. How can you do that, man? I'm not going to call no names. They know who they are. Forsaking, forsaking your first love. This is your first love. Okay, not that whore that's in your bed, man. That done had all kind of men. This word wisdom is your first love, man. Period. Scripture says she tried those that are worthy. Okay? So you got to pray the most high, man. In fact, let me read that. We wisdom of Psalm in the sixth chapter. This ain't the time to get weak. Okay? This is the time to pray the most high give you a spirit. Like uh, Elisha asked for a double portion. Because the finish line is, is almost there. I mean, if you in the spirit, you can see it. 2018 going to be rough, man. 2017 was already crazy. You, know, you had to solely clip some different hurricanes, some storms, some wildfires, earthquakes in Mexico. You just had an earthquake the other day. You have a supermoon tomorrow, lunar eclipse, North Korea, all these missile tests, all these false flag attacks that happened in Britain this year. Some in America, all these celebrities being exposed for being a homosexual and pedophiles, man. Because that's who run the world anyway, man. You see? So the elites, they getting, getting ready to do something major, man. Of course, Three Square Market, the RFID chip, going through a rundown of what happened through, through this year so far, man. So how much longer do you think this place got? Five more years? I don't think so. I definitely don't think so, man. This place is about to go down soon, man. Two major things we're looking for is that chip and World War Three. World War Three is already here. Okay, North Korea is already ready, man. Okay, Russia is already ready, man. China, they all conspiring. Iran behind closed doors. We just wait for that microchip to what become national, and then that's it. All right. Wisdom of Solomon, the sixth chapter. Let me see if I can read it quick. Then I'm gonna jump. Wisdom of Psalm is 6 verse 12. The wisdom is glorious and never faded away. Yea, she is easily seen of them that love her and found of such that seek her, man. You gotta seek her. And only way you can seek her, the scripture says what? You gotta read, man. And after you read it, you start applying it. When you start applying the knowledge that you learn, that's called wisdom. And after you start applying it, then guess what? That's when you start having what? You becoming a judge. Because we're going to judge the nation. See? So this this process, man. Okay? Most I build you up slowly. But now we have the time now, man. You got to be men in this thing, man. And above all, like I did that video before, you got to work out your own salvation. Because we all have brothers you talk to build each other up. Like I said, man, when all hell start being loose, more likely, man, you're not going to have contact with brothers, man. When they shut down the internet, December 14, also a major day to look out for. Oh, uh, the FCC is going to decide whether they should get rid of the net neutrality laws, which pretty much keep your, your internet service providers on a leash. 
okay? Without that, it can slow down data traffic, forbid you from accessing certain websites, and above all, try to shut down the truth. That's basically what it is, is all coming down to because all the videos are out on, on the internet, they can't control it. A lot of their secrets was leaked on the internet, man. A lot, man. A lot of their New World Order plans was leaked on the internet, man. You see? So now they what? They're trying to contain it. You see what I'm saying? But it's too late. The truth is already out. Okay, like your Howard Shots, and what Paul said, nothing become done done against the truth, but only for it, man. You see what I'm saying? And the scripture says when 144,000 is sealed, that's the end of this place. That's the end of America. The only reason why the Most High got this kingdom going on is because the elect haven't fully been sealed yet. And the only way the elect can be sealed, you got to go out there and preach. You got to go out there and preach. You got to go out there and keep pushing. How's Israel supposed to wake up, man? How are people supposed to wake up, man, if they don't see their teachers, man? You got to make your body a living sacrifice. Let me read that real quick. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Romans chapter 12, verse 1. Yeah. Huh? No, 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 All you gotta do, man, is lose that cigarette and you can I know, die, man. I know, I knew you was gonna say that too. <laughs> well, yeah, I have to say I that. I know, yeah, no problem, yeah. brother. Yeah. I'm just gonna show you. Yeah. You know. Oh, that, uh, you know, I fucked, I fucked with y'all all over, man. Oh, okay, that's all what's up, over, man. You know? All over, I fucked with y'all, man. I got a lot of pictures of y'all, man. You know, all over. All right, all right. No, all right, all right. I'm sorry for the man. No problem, no problem. Yo, what tribe you from, bro? Before you leave, what tribe you from? Simeon, Dominican. I suppose if you're African American. Oh, Judah. Okay. okay. Oh, I'm Judah. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now this is learning something. Sorry. Thanks for calling me back. Yeah, no problem. I'm no Judah. Problem. Yeah, that's a head tribe. It is. Yeah. Okay. All right. I hear you. What's up, man? What's up? Want to know? We'll, we'll Peace, quit. man. Here you go. That brother knows some. At least the hope the rest of you Jakes can learn that, man. The Romans 12 and 1. I wanted to read Wisdom of Solomon. Was, oh yeah, Mr. Kim. I didn't get to get on that clown last week, man. The spirit pulled me a whole nother direction. If the spirit allowed today, I'll, I'll try to address some of that de demonic points that you try to pull in that video, man. And that's another thing you gotta look out for is more agents and um, more false teachers springing up. All right? In the body and outside the body. The truth gonna be under attack because this is the truth. And there ain't no other truth, man. Right? There ain't no other truth, man. I'm gonna read that in John the fourth chapter after this. Read on down. It says, um, she prevented them that desired her in making herself first known unto them, which is her wisdom. Okay. okay Solomon with his metaphors, man. It says, um, um, whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail. So you got to seek her early. Above all, you got to seek her and the Most High. Wisdom, another name for that is the Holy Spirit. Man. Okay? Which can give her characteristics of a woman that's supposed to comfort you. Okay? This book, man, the spirit of this book. Let's get Let me read on. To 
Think therefore upon her perfection of wisdom. So you got to think upon her constantly. Okay? Like we say, of course you have your life. You got to. You have to work. Okay? You got to pay your bills. You got to do what you got to do. But now we at the time now, you got to up your game. You got to study more, read more, look at news more, look at other brothers' videos more. And of course, put out more videos and more shows. You see? But of course, everything is according to your spirit. Every brother don't have the same portion of the spirit. But if you don't have it, like James said, pray. Okay, if you lack something, okay, the thing to do is ask your father in heaven. All right? That's what you got to do, man. Like how I said, I'm going to read that after. It says, Whoso seeketh her early shall have no great travail, but she shall find her sitting at his doors. To think therefore upon her is perfection of wisdom. Whoso watcheth for her shall quickly be without care. Okay, so if you you doing the right thing and pleasing y'all by shimmy out shot, you don't gotta worry about food, clothing, which we do sometimes because we in the flesh. But if you're doing the right thing, the Most High is gonna provide for you, man. Like y'all shot said, if you if you, if you provide for the birds of heaven, how much more you? And you're the sons of the living power. You're the saints. All right. For she goeth about seeking such that are worthy of her. And that's what we're finding out now. A lot of dudes ain't worthy of wisdom, man. Okay, that's why they fall out. All right? You wasn't worthy, man. Pray to Most High that we ain't one of those fallouts, man. If you're not worthy of, guess what? You're going to spew back up. All right? Let me read on. For such she goeth seeking such that are worthy of her, showing herself favorable unto them in the ways, and meeted them in every thought. Okay? And I'm... And this whole chapter is good, but um, this camera acts stupid in the cold. And if you lack wisdom, pray to the Most High, man. Matthew the seventh chapter. Matthew chapter seven. Verse 7, classic scripture. Matthew 7 and 7. Ask and it shall be given you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened unto you. That's what Lord's talking about. What? Revelation of. Well, man, I'm going to get that, man. I'll get that after this. Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Okay, good. It says, For every one that acts or receive it, and he that seeketh find it, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. Of what man is there of you, whom if thou son acts bread, will give him a stone? Or if he acts a fish, will give him a serpent? None of you, man. If someone you love asks you something, you love that individual, you're going to give them what they ask you. That's the same thing with the Heavenly Father. So if you lack wisdom, if you lack faith, if you lack patience, that goes for all of us. Acts. Simple and plain, man. But sometimes you may have to fast as well. Okay? That's another way, man, to get to get on another level spiritually. Afflict your body. Strengthen your spirit. If then be it... If he then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your Father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him, man? So and that goes if you need a job, whatever, man. He's going to give you um, to what he see that you need, man. He's not going to give you always what you want. He's going to give you what you need. Man. And what you need right now is the spirit of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Above all, man. All right? That's why Yahweh Shah said this, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. This is your mind. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come into him and will sup with him and be with me. Okay? Alright? That also goes with wisdom as well. That also goes with the entire book. You open your door, open your, your mind. The Lord will suck with you and you will grow. 
but you gotta hear his voice, which is what the prophets teach us, man. That's set up, okay? That's gonna lead you and stir you in the right direction. That's why it is also written Ecclesiastes chapter 6, verse 28. I'm surprised that even still going. Get this go second Ezra chapter 6. Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus chapter 6, verse 28. It says, um, Is the ask of chapter 6 verse 32 my son if thou shalt be taught and if thou wilt apply to the mind thou shalt be prudent or wise if thou love to hear thou shalt receive understanding and if thou bow thine ear thou shalt be wise opening the door to your mind stand in the multitude of the elders and cleave unto him that is wise so you have apostle elders and you got other brothers that's out here teaching them. So the most I got is men everywhere, man. Wherever you Israelites are, the men of the Lord is somewhere there in that vicinity, man. Somewhere there in that state or city. And above all, the internet. Which reach everywhere. So there ain't no excuse, man. It says, um, Be willing to hear godly discourse and let not the parables of understanding escape you, man. And if thou seest a man of understanding, get thee B times early unto him let thy foot wear, wear the steps of his door, man. Which, how it says, you can't go physically to the men of the Lord's house. So what do you do? You tune into the channel, man. You go to different videos and look at brothers, man. Study, learn, write stuff down. You have sincere questions, ask them. They don't answer you. Just keep looking at videos and eventually you will get the answer, man. There's a multitude of videos out there, man. Okay, that you can learn from, man. That's how you wear out the steps of the door. It's by constantly tuning in.